Hello human beings, it's been a while since I sat down in front of the camera and just talked and I love doing these kinds of videos so I'm very excited. Today I'm going to be talking about my honest opinion of being an au pair and what it's like kind of behind the scenes because I haven't really talked much about that. I did a vlog that I will link down below of a day in my life is kind of like as an au pair which gives a pretty good insight of how my day-to-day -day life goes. And I just wanted to share a few more tips and things to consider before actually going into an au pair position if you are considering that. So let's just start this video. The first thing is be aware that there are different, so many different kinds of families out there. I can not preach this enough but a lot of families are gonna expect many different things. So um, whether you are applying through allpairworld.com or you find the position on an online group such as Facebook or another all pair agency or website, they should be listing what they expect from their all pair such as if they expect the all pair to do housework, how many hours they're expecting you to work, and all the other things that either um, will be all the other things that you will be responsible for um, many families are not clear about exactly what they want and a lot of au pairs go into positions not really knowing what is expected of them and that's honestly like the number one thing that I really 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 enforce that you get clear straight off the bat i really do recommend to ask how many hours a week they want you to work what kind of housework if any and what the schedule of the children are going to be like for me i worked for two families in my first year of all pairing and i'm currently on my second one but during my first year i worked for one family for about three months and it was a living position and I was watching two children and it was the extreme opposite of what I'm currently doing. In my previous position, I was working in the morning and also in the afternoons and I was living in with the family as opposed to what I'm doing now. I only work the afternoons and I am in a live out position. So I really got to see both sides. I personally prefer the live out situation and I know a lot of my friends do just because at this age you do really want that sense of privacy. If you were already living outside of your family's house before becoming an au pair, it's not really ideal to go back into living with a family, which is why many au pairs do look, up, look for live out positions, but that is not to say that um, some au pairs really do enjoy the live-in position and don't mind it at all. And I was so excited to be moving to Paris, I was so excited moving to France that I kind of just said yes to everything and a lot, a lot, a lot was expected to me and for sure families will take advantage of au pairs. If they do see that they can get away with asking for a lot from you, a lot of families will do that. Which leads me into the second thing I want to talk about which is boundaries really know what you're comfortable with if you know that you can't handle certain things and you think that the the expectations from the family are too high do not go forward with it and be clear what you're comfortable with from the family so yeah really set your boundaries and by boundaries i mean um what kind of relationship you want to have with the host family and what kind of relationship you're looking to have with the with the children. I know with the live-in positions, a lot of the au pairs really seem to be integrated with the family and they do feel like they are really part of the family, which is great. That's really what the au pair position is meant to do. It's really meant to integrate you into the culture, into the family, and that's how a lot of au pairs get better with uh, practicing the language that they want to learn so for example me i'm in france and with my first host family i really heard them speaking french all the time because i was living in i didn't really have an option i mean the apartment was very small so i could hear constant speaking even when i had my off time i was in the room and i could still hear like 
them speaking to each other in French. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is that you should genuinely like children. I know a lot of people go into the au pair position because the perks and the benefits seem so good. You get to move to a country, you have your housing provided for, you have your food paid for, you have your transport paid for, even sometimes your language school. But if you do not genuinely like spending time with children, I don't recommend the au pair position for you. I know and I have met some au pairs that don't genuinely get along with children. They don't have like that tendency to like be creative or like come up with solutions when there's a problem and they are not happy being au pairs. So maybe if you want to travel abroad on a budget, um, you should find another position for you. But um, yeah. Also, this is really random, but I wanted to mention both girls and guys can be au pairs. I know there's like a very big um, stereotype of only girls being able to do au pair positions, but that's not true at all. I've met at least four guy au pairs during my first au pair year, and although it is a lot more rare for guys to apply for au pair positions, it is still very likely and a lot of families who have only boys like kids who are boys they do actually prefer males which is really cool and i love the fact that guys can also have this opportunity to meet the kids beforehand you can sometimes do if you're already living in europe and you're not far from where you're going to be all pairing definitely try to do like a week or a weekend with the family i know a lot of families offer this um, I have some friends who went on like a quick little, like a weekend vacation with the family before actually starting the position to kind of get like a taste or like a feel for what the family's like. And if you can't do this, you should at least meet the children uh, before, before like at least through Skype or like a, even a phone call or something because you'll get a little bit of a feeling of what the kids are like. So definitely, definitely do not go into an au pair position without having some kind of form of interaction or contact with the children. Because I also did that mistake with my first family. I had no former introduction with the children whatsoever. Once I actually finally moved there, I found out that um, the children were not well behaved at all and they were actually quite disrespectful to their parents and that was something I was not okay with. Also, to get a better feel of what you are gonna be putting yourself into for the next following month or year, definitely ask if you can speak, if they had one, to the former au pair. Um, with my second family, for the first host family, I was their first au pair, so that's maybe why the kids weren't used to having someone like me around which is why it didn't end too well okay now i'm going to be moving on to what to actually do during your au pair year and what i've learned consider your free time wisely and just use your free time wisely i know a lot of au pairs and this is super understandable for the first few weeks that during their time off they just you know kind of lounge around they just stay home and they just watch netflix and relax and the first few weeks can be quite stressful with the transitioning process and getting used to the family and it's so understandable to want to relax on your free time but take advantage of the new city that you're in take advantage of every single moment honestly um and go visit new neighborhoods go visit new cities go meet new people and just leave your comfort zone completely the second thing to consider during your au pair year is to practice your patience you will definitely have your patience tested multiple times throughout the year whether that be by the parents or by the children um your patience will definitely slowly grow just remember to breathe when you're in stressful situations and if you ever have any doubts just you should have a good enough relationship with the host parents to be able to contact them or text them and ask them for help. Another tip to use during your au pair year is take advantage of your vacation time. And by your vacation time, I mean the time that your children have time off from school. You should get at least a week or a couple days off to yourself during vacation times, during the summer holidays and the Christmas holidays and spring break and all of that. If you have enough money saved up, definitely 
book a flight or a bus and go see the world and don't leave it to the last minute to book your tickets and to book your buses and to let the family know that you're going to be leaving for a few days also that's something you should mention during the interview process how much vacation time you will have and lastly i just want all of you to know that this is your year to grow as a human like if you are doing this all per year if you are taking the opportunity to move to another country I'm assuming that you're just looking for new experiences and you want to get out of your daily routine and just see something completely different than what you're used to experiencing in your normal everyday life. Take this year to just grow, like I said before, leave your comfort zone and you go practice that new language, you go see new places, you go talk to those people, take the opportunity to learn new things, pick up a new hobby maybe, learn a new instrument start painting you know do photography anything you want learn how to code so just grow 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 as a human and that's honestly the best one of the best things about life is just growing and learning every day so if you have any questions you can leave them down below i can do a second video doing a q and a it doesn't have to be directly related to all pairing it could be related to life my life in france or anything like this but i definitely want to do a q a video soon so if you want leave your comments down below or you can dm them to me on instagram so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have an amazing rest of your day morning night whatever time you're watching this at and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video